Hi everybody, will everyone join? So welcome to the replay if you're just popping on um, and also welcome to the live. Okay, <laughs> everyone's joining, hi. Hello, so nice to see everyone. I was on about an hour ago and just decided to come back on and I'll be sharing some readings today. Yes, hello everybody. Um, one second, I forgot. I am just, I'm going to be recording. You can't really see it, but I have my mic here um, for the podcast, like if any good information comes through. So I'm Amy Sikarski, welcome. And today we will be doing some live readings. My background started in energy work and I'm also a nurse and hypnotherapist. And then my Claire Gifts just started activating. So the more that I worked with healing energy, Within myself and others, I started to develop the gift of clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, and so I also offer readings, and it's really fun. I really enjoy it. I really love coming on the lives and offering this as, you know, just something fun and free for the community. So welcome, welcome. Uh, down at the bottom, you'll see a question mark box or a little circle and so if you can put your questions there it really helps me to keep them all organized uh, the way that I'll be picking is just kind of like the flow and the vibe as I'm scrolling through if something energetically reaches out to me like if I feel that connection then I will begin to tune in for that person so yeah how do you get a reading then um, down below right now we have two people that have requested so you'll see a little question mark bubble and you just want to put your question in there <laughs> so yeah so thank you and let's see okay so here we go I'm already I was already feeling the energy and um, it took me a minute just to get on so I wanted to just kind of like get it um, stable I guess you could say so I'm feeling a lot of energy around and this is great because I feel like everybody could really use some encouragement you know it's like I feel your teams your angels your higher selves around and mine as well so as I'm getting started I wanted to remind um, everybody of two things so I don't know if you've heard of star seed frequencies and that but I also channel and I have a school and I have this offering where there's seven different star realms that I channeled in quite some time ago. But I just did a poll here on Instagram and for the month of March, I'm offering the winning frequency <laughs> for free for transmission and activation. And the winning frequency was the Palladians. So if you're interested in Palladian energy, feeling what it could be about, just tuning into it to see if you resonate it's available at spiritschoolonline.com in the activation section. So I haven't shared that yet, but I just wanted to on the live because I just <laughs> looked at the poll. Um, and then also, let's see, there's a couple other things. I have a retreat coming up May 1st to 4th, north of Houston, Texas. If you're interested, link is in the bio. Okay, here we go. Um, Jean says, you don't see the question mark. So it's right below. It should be to the side of where you put your comment in. On my screen, there's a couple of different uh, like images, so I don't know if you see the same thing I see, but it's at the bottom of your screen. So um, does anybody else not see the question mark icon? I don't know. It might be based on where you're located or something. So I know it's so interesting. <laughs> some countries that don't have the same features, some accounts don't have the same features. Oh, somebody's saying it's the plus sign. Oh, thank you. Okay, so for your view, it looks like a plus sign. Perfect. For my view, it looks like a question mark <laughs> box. So, okay, here we go. Um, okay, I'm just going to start kind of going through it. All right, so Conscious Co., can I get any guidance on finding our home and when? Okay, so yeah, let's see. I really, I really see the month of April where it's picking up for you. So it looks like keep looking. Um, you're gonna be really close to finding it there. It's, um, it's kind of like you're gonna see it and you're going to realize that you've looked before either at that particular home or location, and then you'll kind of, it's, it's kind of like you're not gonna really know, but you will. So you're gonna have to 
revisit it, reconsider it, and then really fill into it. But you're going to find the location in April. That information will come to you. So that's not far off. <laughs> that's next month now. So yeah, hopefully that really helps. Um, let me see if I can, wow, okay. So it all got moved around. All right, so there we go. Okay, I'm just removing it from the queue. And if there's any that you resonate with in there, you can vote it up to the top as well. So if there's something for the collective, that would be great. I usually kind of start off with the collective, but um, we'll just jump into personal questions right now. Uh, let's see, okay, dream pusher. Okay, I can feel the energy here, love. Um, you're saying goodbye to your grandmother tomorrow who will be buried. And you say, my heart feels like it's transition as she does. And just wondering how I should manage my energy and attention during this time. Okay, um, so as she transitions, I am hearing it's going to be a personal experience for you as it will be for everyone. You'll have your personal experience and then everyone that's there will have that energy of support for the whole community that is there. So family, friends, and I see a lot of pink around, a lot of pink, which is this rose and flower energy. There's also some purple. So the, the message is share with her through telepathically with your heart, just share with her, you know, everything that you enjoyed and anything that you feel like saying and communicating and that she will transition really peacefully. She felt a lot of love. She has a life review that she'll be doing. So that'll be really lovely. Um, and very beneficial to release any, I'm hearing like hiccups or anything that she didn't quite clear in this life emotionally. So hopefully that really helps you. But yeah, I see that she's going to be feeling so much love and support and greeted. She's already greeted on the other side. So yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just scrolling through. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So we read that one. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> I was looking at one and the whole screen just jumped on me. Um, do I channel energies from the archangels? Yes, I do. Island Kid, thank you for asking. I mostly do what's called streaming or relay channeling, kind of what I'm doing now with archangels. I have had them come closer in, but I mostly, if I do what's called physical channeling, I channel a star collective called the Council of Light and they're a frequency of star beings from different star realms. So I do channel that and I also communicate with loved ones on the other side. It's not my specialty, but I can do that. So it's kind of like we go to school, we learn all these things and then we pick what we prefer. So the mediumship with um, departed loved ones on the other side, I can do that as well. Okay, so I'm seeing one right here for um, Dom Gal 888, feeling anxious and extra, like a lot of change is about to happen. I'm curious on how to release it and just to be, oh, and let it be. Okay, yeah, so let me read into that for you. You have a lot of energy fluttering at your heart chakra right here, and then it's, it's bubbling up at your throat, so it's kind of like wants to be expressed, wants to be heard. If you could do mantras and toning or singing in any way, that will help to release the energy off your chest and out of your throat. I also see some frequencies that I'm going to say is a part of your own anatomy with your solar plexus chakra that's twisted. And so it's like your stomach is in a knot, your chakra is in a knot. So breathe peace and light, breathe intentionally. Let that calm frequency come down into your belly. And if you want to help relax that chakra, I'm seeing to focus on, it's like a lighter canary yellow. So not super intense and bold, a little bit more in the pastel family. Focus on that to calm and relax your solar plexus chakra. And then two specific things, um, journaling, and if you wanted to stretch and then take a salt water bath or shower, that will help you also. But yeah, it's just extra energy build up in your system because it feels like you've been navigating through a lot of frequencies and decisions right now. And not only decisions in this reality, but also decisions that are more at a soul level. So regarding your contracts in this life, your agreements and your path forward. So it feels like you kind of did a little reset there and there was a lot that you were feeling to work through. So that should really help you. 
Yeah, great, great question. Um, um, okay. Um, okay, Brianna Larley. My boyfriend was in a terrible car accident that left him with a brain injury. I feel like, um, <laughs> I feel like, I think you're going to say your life. It's, it kind of skipped a word in there. I feel like my life has fallen apart. I just want to see what my future will look like. And I've applied to nursing school. I'm not sure if you'll get in. Okay, so well, I, all, I already see you working in the medical field for sure. So um, I don't know if you are working in the medical field already, like as a CNA or a tech, but I see you in the medical field. So your guides are saying relax. You do what you can do and let spirit lead the way. So you apply relax and then just start focusing on things that you have control over i think that's important for all of us you know we do what we can do and then we need to give things time to breathe and to work out so i definitely see you working with in the medical field which is great um i know he got an accident at a soul level there's something there that he's experiencing you know not saying not saying if he wanted this or not but it's an opportunity where he's really working through something right now and what he understands is the love he can still feel the love around um no matter his stage of recovery that's what i'm seeing is a lot of love around and also music can help so kind of more not where he's gonna like be so bored <laughs> but kind of music that has somewhat of a beat but can be relaxing or mix it up a little bit something to stimulate the mind is what i'm hearing but don't over stimulate the mind right because he had trauma so um so that can really be beneficial for him and uh you can look at inner dance so it's a modality for healing with energy that restructures the mind um the brain waves and the connection the neural synapse synaptic connections so if you want to direct message me after i can get you some more information on that that might be beneficial for him it's healed all kinds of physical issues so it's called inner dance and um, i'm trained in it so i can get you some info if you would like for him but yeah it feels like the medical is definitely going to be part of your life like your path it looks really good it looks really beautiful okay let's see um you guys all have so many good messages. Thank you. I'm just feeling into the ones that jump off the screen. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Fractal Flower. Hi. <laughs> hi, love. Um, hi, Amy. Any advice on what I should focus on? Yeah, for you, I'm feeling a really strong vibration for creativity and flow. So it looks like painting, maybe watercolor and um, dancing. I think that's going to really help you not just to process or release anything, but it's going to help you connect in a little bit more to yourself, a little bit more to spirit and energy. Of course, there's going to be all the added benefits of that, but it's to help you connect in and channel in some more information, I would say, that can support you on your next steps. Uh, let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of y'all are losing loved ones. I'm so sorry. Um, if I get a hit, like a, a energy pull on that, I will tune in for you. Okay, let's see. And then also a lot of, I see a lot of career ones. So I'm just feeling, okay. All right, I already read that one. Um, what is the cause of my back pain and muscle pain from Sarah? Okay, let's look at an energy um, way a bit. All right, so one moment here. Um, hmm. So there's a lot of energy around. It's physical. This is more in the physical body. Yeah, it's more of a physical experience. And so sometimes I'll look at the spiritual body, at the chakras or the um, at, or your aura. But let me see, I'm just looking here. It's so interesting because you mentioned pain, but what I'm sensing is like a burning sensation on, on the skin. So I feel like there's extra energy there 
that might be surface level that can also be disrupting and not allowing yourself to relax and to release the muscles. What I'm getting for you is like this could be if you were to go to see a um, massage or physical therapist, somebody that also works with energy because I feel like there's energy in your muscles. And what I'm getting is fear. It's interesting, I'm hearing fear and strength and those two vibrations within you were recently activated or triggered. Like it just, it got kickstarted, it got kicked up and your body's responding by contracting in certain areas. So of course the holistic approach would be to release it and get the supplements that you could use physically to release any spasms. So hopefully you can take that information and it will help you by utilizing a hands-on therapy. And, and I'm, not, I'm really not seeing a lot of past life stuff, which is nice. Um, so I think it's more about the physical body and the stress, the stress around. And so I also feel that you are really sensitive and that it might be on overload too. So that's what I think I was getting on your surface of your skin. So hopefully that can give you some place to start. Um, hi everyone, hi everybody that's new. Hi Awaken Healers, hi Kim, hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, hi everyone. If you wanna put a question below in the plus button box, then um, I'm going to just be scrolling through to see what pops out. Okay, all right. Um, Okay, Shay Marie, I keep like, this is the second time I've seen yours and so it's now even stronger bouncing off the page. Hi Amy, what is the best path career-wise for me as a new mom? I am seeing definitely something that gives you flexibility. You do wanna have structure. Like you wanna have structure in your day and in your timeline, um, your schedule throughout the day, but something that gives you a little flexibility and freedom if you're like, okay, hey, you know, I need to take the day off or shift my schedule or take a couple hours off. So that's the number one thing. The number um, two frequency is something that you're happy, you're content. It might not be your dream job, but it works and um, it pays well. So I see if you're going to work outside the home, it would be close by. And I'm feeling like you're really wanting to know what kind of career field. So I'm definitely getting something where you're working with other people, but you also have your own projects. So you can just see what's available locally or if you work remotely online. And I'm hearing, um, it's like data entry, I think is the way you could think of it. I see you typing on a keyboard and organizing files. And I also feel that you're gonna be working with clients or customers of that business. So I keep seeing a vision of you going online and looking at the different websites that have job opportunities and see what one fits for you. Yeah, and so probably you're gonna work at home or something really close. So it's not that you have to do one career field over the other right now. It's just, you know, something that can be enjoyable that most of your energy and focus and intention is gonna go on your children. So that's that's what I'm getting, something to help you um, in the physical world <laughs> financially. So yeah, hopefully that helps. Hi, Soulful Spirituality. Hey everyone, so nice. Um, Lauren, am I supposed to be involved with my new roommate? Thank you. Oh, there is some energy there, huh? Yeah, um, let's see. That's, a, that's kind of a loaded question. <laughs> the choice is yours, I'm hearing, but it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like a really clean and clear connection right now that there would need to be some energies worked out. Uh, like there's a, there's a charge, like an electrical charge, but it's not a smooth frequency. So if you were to pursue something further, um, there needs to be, I'm hearing, open communication. And so you would want to start at that place. I guess you would say, you know, like at the place you're at now and develop your communication before you advance further. There's no destiny here that you're like meant to be closer, but you can. 
And so what your guides are saying is that things happen for a reason, you met for a reason, and there's something beautiful to come of it. And that choice is going to be up to you. So it's kind of like, I'm, I'm actually hearing proceed with caution, but the way I feel it is slowly being aware and having your discernment and your sovereignty around it. So you know that how it progresses is how you feel comfortable with. So um, yeah, I see you staying really grounded and present, centered inside. So it's not like it's whoosh pulling you into something that you're not ready for. So hopefully that really helps. Yeah, um, let's see here. <laughs> Falling back into the questions. I'm Okay, this is from Sevda2002. I'm trying to find a place where I can feel really at peace and happy. I haven't been in that place yet and I'm in my 20s. What do you think about this? Okay, yeah, let me see. Um, what do I think about it? Might be different than your reading, yeah? <laughs> so let's see what comes through. Um, okay, kind of starting what I think of it is you have so much, like so many more experiences to come your way. And so the message that comes through is now I'm hearing navigation. You're finding your path, you're figuring out who you are. And so you've had these experiences that have been foundational for you. So all of the experiences that you've had are leading you more towards what you want, what feels comfortable, what feels natural to you. And you're going to hit this point from age 33 to 35 where you're like, ah, oh, I got this. Like you're gonna feel so matured in your own life experiences, full of wisdom and light. And it's that, um, like you've climbed a mountain and now you're sitting at the top kind of energy. So right now there's just gonna be little ups and downs, but you're still graduating, you're still flowing, you're, you're climbing that mountain of experience and things look good. Your guides are saying to cut out um, relationships or distracting energy. Who's holding you back? What conversations are pulling you down? Let those go for sure. Um, gently release and start focusing on yourself. They say gently release. You don't have to like be really abrupt or harsh with anything, but gently transition into more time dedicated to you and your goals and your dreams. Um, they're saying joy, happiness, and community and friendship is important too. So don't just like cut all of that out, but start creating a better balance and a flow for yourself. And it looks really promising. So you're, you're on your path. It looks really good. Yeah. Okay, next question here. Um, okay, Jal, um, I don't know if I can pronounce your name right. Jalexa 525 you asked about your dad. If you could put in just his first name, it will help me with like sense of vibration. And so if I see that again, I'll come right back to it. Okay, and then, okay. Um, Simplistic Mama, is my new business venture with my friend the right move? Okay, one moment, let's see. You're gonna grow from it, you're gonna learn from it, and the first uh, two years, it looks like it's gonna start to go, and then it will kind of, hmm, then the energy is gonna kind of be interesting because I feel like you'll reset again in two years. So yeah, they're saying go for it, but make sure you've planned, that you're prepared and everything, like you have a business plan, and that you both agree to stick to all of the points within the business plan and that it makes sense. And then you, you can start, you can go into this. Um, it's interesting because it looks like it's gonna start flowing, but it doesn't have all the substance, I would call it. Like it doesn't have all the energy, this compact frequency to keep it like really stable and steady. So that's the first two years. And then I felt like, okay, something will come in or you will, um, go through the next phase of it where it will become more grounded and solid in about two years time. So hopefully that really helps. Um, aw, thanks everybody. <laughs> thanks for all of your sweet comments. I really appreciate it. And thanks for being here. Everybody that's new, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm looking in the uh, chat feed Every time I touch the camera, it shakes, but um, 
I'm looking in the chat feed and there's some questions there, but if you can put your questions in the little plus button at the bottom, that would be great. But Lara, Lara D, I am like really drawn to yours, so I'm just gonna answer it real quick. You say, I'm feeling like I have blocks, but I can't pinpoint them or work through them. I wonder if they're affecting accessing my spiritual gifts as well as making decisions on what to do next. You have energy that's trying to clear, and this is in your energy field mostly, your aura. It's interdimensional from other lifetimes. So work with Archangel Jeremy L, Michael, and Metatron. And you could ask Metatrail to come in too. And then I'm getting breath work and sound therapy. Meditate on that and ask to clear it and let it go. It's definitely wrapped around some chakras and linked in. And it's a, it's a frequency from the past of um, not only fear, there's some fear there, but it's more like I'm hearing um, sacrifice, like I have to put everybody before me and it's about economic status and struggle. You definitely are ready to let that go. So clear it out and then the affirmations that come to your mind, start utilizing those. So anything that comes up to release, that's an energy you feel like an emotion or a program or a theme that you keep repeating or you've noticed in this life, then you wanna reset that by creating an affirmation to balance it or neutralize it out, you know, like strengthen it with another affirmation that's the opposite of it. So that'll be really good for you. Um, okay, yeah, okay. Um, flowing over here um, to he Heather Lavender333. Hi, Amy, any words of encouragement? Thank you. Yeah, let's see what they're saying. Okay, so, all right, Lavender. You're definitely on your path, but your path is not a straight path, which is beautiful because then we can explore life and see things. And I see that you've veered off to the side and you're gonna get back in, in, in line and in your path, but you've acquired many gifts in that experience. I feel like you've had a lot of interactions and friendships energy that has uh what's a good word it's really infused a lot more life into your life yourself so like all this vitality and energy of others and it's created this awareness within and this spark within and it's also given the opportunity for contrast so you can really get to understand your own energy and what is yours and how you feel in community and how you feel in small groups or one-on-one -on -one conversation versus just like alone with your own energy so you're doing a great job, but I see a reset happening for you in three months time. And, um, oh wait, let me, huh, let me translate that a little bit different. I see a reset happening for you. It's actually going to start in about two weeks and go for three months. So they're showing me like this circle where you're going to be feeling like, oh, maybe your whole world flipped upside down. And this doesn't have to be physical. This can be emotional, like maybe, maybe a lull like a hibernation or a, a high where you feel that you have a lot of emotional spiritual energy resetting so any emotions that come up let it come up and let it flow through for you and um, an example is i had something similar happen maybe four weeks ago now where for a period of like three days i felt like i was gonna cry but nothing ever like literally came <laughs> through my eyes no tears came out but i felt like the energy was lifting off my chest as if you, like when you cry and you release from your heart space. And later I found out that was some energy I'd been carrying with me from multiple lives. But yeah, so you can you can release that um, as it comes through. So really, really nice um, message for you there to give you a heads up. Let's see. Um, so teaspoon. My dog is my best friend. He is three years old. We have a really deep connection. Is it possible to have a soul tie with an animal? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, I've even seen my in my friends, so in my personal life, my friends, um, where they had an animal pass away and then a few years later reincarnate back in. So I had a friend whose dog passed away I reincarnated back in as a different breed, but her little dog passed away. And then within the year, and that's kind of fast, honestly, but within the year was born to a larger breed. 
her own dog that had puppies and was the runt and did the exact same mannerisms. And it was like, you know, obviously looked different, different breed, but you could tell it was, it was the same dog, um, the same little spirit. And I've also had many readings or my own experiences where animals can be with us from one life to another to another. So there's definitely soul connection there. So I would honor that. That's really sweet. I would, I would look to do, um, which you probably are, but that telepathic communication. And, and I got a message a few months back, maybe four or five months back that with the shift on earth right now, it's so much easier and it will just begin to be more and more easier. If that's the proper grammar, I don't think so, but <laughs> it'll get easier to communicate with nature spirits and um, animals. So you can practice that. And one of the things is to be open to receiving, like you can talk to them, but you want to be open to hearing what they have to say. So having that openness to your energy and being present in the moment will help you. So the answer is yes, absolutely. That's exciting. I'm glad that you guys connected. And I would say, so I have a podcast called the Spirit and Soul Healing Podcast. And it's everywhere that you can find podcasts and on YouTube. And I had an interview with an animal communicator that was really nice, Rochelle. And then I also probably three episodes ago spoke about this connection with this little cat that came around. So you can look at, into listening to the podcast and hear some personal experiences with communicating and you might enjoy. Um, let's see. Okay. Hi, um, Lightning Survivor 188. You say, should I stick with my current job or seek something less stressful and more fulfilling? Your guides are saying that you are going to know when it is time to um, move forward. And it feels like it's starting to ramp up. So when is it time? Oh, sorry. When is it time to move forward? It's almost here. So you can start looking but don't get stressful. <laughs> don't be stressed out in the looking process. Uh, something will fall right into your lap. And it's it might you might even find that you're gonna find another opportunity and it's just the way it works, that right at that same time, you're gonna find that your job that you're at now can be a little bit more manageable and then you'll have a decision to make. So um, there's endless opportunities they're saying and it's just about timing and alignment so sure, start looking, but don't put a lot of pressure on yourself that you absolutely have to put a lot of stress and worry into finding something right now, but keep that possibility open and start looking. Yeah, that'll be great. Um, okay, let's see, oh, a few of us here. Flex healing, I'm writing a book which is very close to my heart. Will it be a success? Definitely, I got a yes. This is for, you're mostly writing it for you, for your soul, and those that resonate with it. So it's just about marketing and getting the word out. And there's a lot of, they're saying there's so many more opportunities nowadays than in the past with the online um, marketing and free like social media sharing of your book. But it feels like this has to come through you. This is This is important to you and um it's blessed i feel a lot of light around it so yeah it, it'll be a success it's all about like what is your how do you define success or the level of it but what your guides are saying is it will be successful so oh congrats <laughs> i'm so excited for you yeah that's wonderful um let me see okay flowing through here just seeing if there was any confirmation hi everyone welcome we're doing readings tonight so fun it's been a little bit since i've been on for readings okay i'm going back in here um okay i'm just feeling okay what would even where oh <laughs> Could use your help navigating this new normal of life after the passing of my brother. It's challenging to trust myself making the next move on my journey. Um, any help? Okay. So you guys, you had, you have a strong connection that spans lifetimes and I'm feeling that it will continue. So this isn't, you know, the end. You'll see each other again 
and that he does come around. But I, I see multiple lifetimes in the past where you were different genders, but you were siblings. And um, you also switched roles, like who was the oldest and who was the youngest. And one life you were really close. People thought you were twins, but you were just born <laughs> really close. So um, he's around and the message I'm getting is don't put your life on hold, you know, like continue living and just think about the encouragement and and what he would want for you and to honor that by living a really full life. And you can talk to him and you can journal and you can feel his energy come around. So um, the love is the love is eternal. And although it's hard because they're not here in physical, um, he does come around in spirit and it feels like you might even have dreams that you could say, oh, that was a dream or memories, but you'll feel the enhanced frequency around like your heart. You'll feel you're like, oh, I swear he's here and, and he is. So yeah, Aww. oh my gosh, I hope that really helps. I know it can be so challenging um, when we lose those that we love when they transition, so mm-hmm. Um, okay, so let's see, flowing through. Oh, I've already read some of these. <laughs> I'm seeing them twice or they didn't delete, yeah. Okay. I'm just feeling ones that might pop out to me. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of energy here tonight. Um, I almost feel like I just, <laughs> it's like there's business and love and loss. So there, yeah, there's a lot happening, a lot of shifts and transitions right now. Um, okay, so uh, Les, Lelis, 451, is there any guys around that is right for me? Okay, are there any guys that are right for you? And um, has my son been around myself and his son okay so that's that's kind of a lot of questions let me see what comes in you're really supported by the way and energy and i see a lot of struggle or really challenges that, like challenging times that you've gone through um but i feel a lot of support from spirit on the other side that would either be family that's crossed over or um yeah, that's what I want to say. It feels like family that's crossed over. It doesn't feel like spirit guides. It doesn't feel like archangels. Your family is supporting you from the other side. And they're they're saying, you know, like, we're with you. So they're helping you. And I also see, I feel the energy of laughter and crying at the same time. You know, it's just like this loving warmth that brings joy and inspiration. Um, they will be speaking to you through music, through songs. So the lyrics of the songs and the beats of the song, and you might, you just might feel that energy coming through for you. Um, your life is, <laughs> there. I'm hearing like a beautiful masterpiece, which is so pretty. And I'm seeing like all these different colors and different experiences and heaviness and lightness. It's just a culmination of all of this emotion and opportunity that you've had. And it's like you've lived a, a rich, full life through your opportunities that you took through these experiences. And um, some might say, like, let's guard my heart. And there might be moments for that. But it's also the energy of heart wide open. You know, let's do this. Let's experience it. And so, yeah, you'll you'll have, um, I see just a few years out, you're going to find a, a deep, deep love with a partner, like a deep love with a partner. So, at this point in time, I see you doing a lot of dancing and movement, which is fluid energy and a lot of inner connection at your heart space. So reconnecting with your own energy, your heart and soul. There's a lot of healing taking place and it looks really beautiful. So I hope that, hope that helps. You're, you're just definitely supported. I can really, really feel it. It feels so, I don't know, just feels so peaceful and like such a blessing. So yeah, hope that helps. Okay, let's see what else. Um, all right, I'm gonna kind of scroll to the bottom. There's a lot of questions. Let's see if, <laughs> I don't know if they've come through in order or what, you know, what it is, but let's see. Okay, all right. 
Okay, so I'm seeing like all these in the same row that are similar themes, but I'm being pulled to surf dude, JD. Hi, okay, struggling to find, oh, I'm struggling with finding the right guy for me. Would really like to get your sense of what the year is like for me love-wise. Okay. Yeah, it's like this. Yeah, it, go, it goes like this. So ups and downs where it's like, oh, this could work out or that could be somebody or you feel really inspired and then it kind of drops. So I'm really feeling like there is somebody, but they're kind of, their energy is kind of parallel to you right now. And it's kind of like this, um, this close miss, like you almost meet, but then you miss and it's energy. So your guides are saying, um, do some like your own personal work where it's affirmations or visualization and really get into the frequency of the future that you want. Like what do you enjoy or what do you envision your future being like and start doing that right now. So if there's, um, like if you envision that you and your love go to a coffee shop or a concert or hiking or the beach or whatever, start doing that more often with yourself and you start cultivating and pulling in that frequency and then you're going to get closer in your path, your timelines and you'll connect. So it looks good. I am seeing like right now, if you start doing that, um, September, October that you can meet somebody of this year, so that's great, right? And they want you to just flow with it too. Don't get overwhelmed. We, I was on a live earlier with my friend Teresa and we were talking about divine timing. So you might be ready, right? But maybe they're not and vice versa. So it's about working through things to better yourself so that you can meet them and be that healed, strong partner for them, like your best self. That's how you wanna enter that relationship. So. Just use this time to better yourself, a lot of self-care, and you're going to find somebody. Yeah, it, it really feels like you will this year, so I'm really excited for you. <laughs> Yay, that's happiness. <laughs> happy happiness. Close by, too. Well, the time will go by really fast. Yeah. Okay, let's see. All right. Oh, hi, 305KG. <laughs> um. I feel like I read for you like a year ago or something. I recognize this handle, I think, um, but I don't recognize your username, so so fun. Um, maybe you, or I'm sorry, your your profile photo, maybe you changed it. So you're asking, hi, or hi, how are you? Could you tell me if you see anything for me, relationship or career-wise? Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Let me just see what comes through for you, okay. Oh gosh, it feels like you have been pushing through the muck, like just pushing through this heaviness, this heavy fog. Ooh, um, they're they're saying get some, like get some zip, <laughs> some zest, <laughs> like get something in your life that really just breaks through it. You know, um, it feels like citrus energy that just cuts right through the heaviness. So music and joy and laughter, maybe a change of scenery and get a little reset. So if you could dedicate, I'm seeing the month of April to that, start, see if you can take some time off or a way to do something new in a new location. Even if you have to stay somewhat close to home, go explore a neighborhood or a restaurant or a museum or something that you've never done before, just to break it up. It feels like it's been monotonous and just like, I feel like I'm just pushing through mud you know so resetting and then also breath work will be really good find somebody who offers online breath work experiences and start doing breath work to break up that energy that's sitting it's really stagnant within you because it's um, it's like a lot of it is your environment and it's just become so monotonous that you're just weighed down by it all so that will help you that's that's the message. <laughs> I forget the full question, but that's what they're saying. They're like, you need a, a refresh, a kickstart, um, really to reset the energy, and that's a good way to go about it. So yeah, I hope that helps. <laughs> Give it a go, let me know. But I know breath work can be amazing. It really can shift and move energy quickly in a short amount of time. So yeah. Um, okay, Vivi... I don't know if I'm gonna say your name right. Okay, we'll just say Vita One. Hi, love. Um, you say I felt a spirit touch my back today, 
Is this true or was it something else? It was definitely energy. Yeah, I feel like it was a spirit. Um, so you're gonna have to ask yourself how you felt by that. If you felt like it was a guide or friendly, meaning like somebody on the other side that you knew and loved um, or just a passerby spirit. But the two visions I saw was first like static electricity kind of coming through the dimensions and then it felt like a soft pressure. So they were able to, <laughs> they were able to interact with your biofield and energy is energy and with intention there is a way to do it and you were in an open receptive space where you recognized it. So I don't see anything to really be alarmed about um, unless you did get some kind of, you know, heavy vibration from it, but I'm just seeing the interaction and um, it might have startled you. <laughs> I don't know. It depends if you're, you know, really expecting anything like that to happen. But yeah, something did come through. There was some energy. And the realms are really, it's like so different. We have lifted in frequency. So we're closer to the higher realms and they're closer to us. So it's been a bit easier for them to make connection of late. And so that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, hi, Nadia 10. You say, hi, Amy. Any messages? that my guides have for me in regards to the next step in my career. Am I taking the right steps? And I love all your emojis. <laughs> dance, dance. Yeah, let's see. Um, yeah, wow, you have a lot going on, girl. This is good. Um, I see like a lot of stuff, a lot of opportunities, a lot of moving parts. Maybe you work on a lot of projects. You have a lot of energy flowing. It's, um, it's not stagnant in that it's active and it's just trying to figure it all out but it feels like you are so let me see am i taking the right steps you are um you are it's like you're you're moving forward with all this opportunity around you or projects i just see almost as if they were little cartoon animations or emojis that represent the different projects that you're carrying and you're pushing forward and then you're gonna go up so you're gonna yeah you're gonna have a promotion i would say or a leveling up and joy or some form of like energy that could feel like enlightenment like oh my gosh yes it will feel like success and that's going to be coming for you this year look to july august maybe june but it feels more like july august where there's going to be a reward in the way that you're like oh man this is great this is what i've been looking for life is amazing kind of that thing so so yeah you're taking the right steps for sure I would, I, the message I would hear is stay clear with your awareness. So there's so much going on. Make sure you have everything aligned and that you're not overlooking anything. And I don't see that you are now, but it can happen. So um, just staying on top of it will really, really help you. Um, oh, I just saw a really good one. Okay. Hi, Joel Cruzen. Blessed. <laughs> Great name. You say, how can we use frequencies on a daily basis to give us like energy um, to support us through the day. Okay, yeah, I think that that's, I think there's a typo maybe, hopefully I'm translating it correctly. So I'm gonna hold that thought right here for just a second. There was somebody on here who asked about their dad and I said if they could send me his name and I haven't been able to find it. So if you're still on, just DM me after and I'll read for you. Okay, so how can we use the frequencies on a daily basis to give us energy to support us through the day. Okay, number one, they say, this is gonna be like morning and evening. So the night before you clear yourself, you clear the energy by breathing, by doing like a um, intentional message to the universe. So it's kind of like affirmation to say, I'm, I'm choosing to release any energies of the day that don't belong to me and let it go. And so you wanna start releasing and detoxing the day about an hour to 90 minutes before you actually fall asleep. So something about our culture now with all the technology is that we can stay on electronics or we can stay busy, 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 and then just crash. So if you take about 90 to 60 minutes for your own personal care to kind of turn off all the extract, the distractions from around you and um, focus on the energy in your space and creating that vibration of you know relaxation and let it go so then in the morning when you wake up you're gonna find that you're not carrying all that you had the day before now often we just release it regular you know just by by nature while we're sleeping and in dreams but this will give you that added boost 
So then in the morning when you wake up, before you get out of bed, take some deep breaths and come all the way into your body. So breathe and go all the way down through your whole body and into your hips and then move your feet and, and get into your legs. And um, so then you're there and you'll feel the energy start to build in your aura. Then next you're gonna say, okay, I'm in my body. <laughs> Let's amplify the frequency of your own soul light. So then you wanna call in your soul frequency in whatever way you do that. I I just intentionally like will request or say, okay, I'm gonna pull in my own light codes. But some people will use visualization where it comes down through the soul star, through the crown, into the heart, and into the body, so your body. And take probably, they're saying three to five breaths and let it build in you. So you're now feeling full before you even get out of bed. And that's gonna help you navigate through all the energy of the day. It, the fuller, stronger your aura is, just imagine it, it should go to the edge of your fingertips if your hands are stretched out to the side. That's normal, that's baseline health. But you can push it even further. And on the edge of your aura, you'll start to feel the energy of others before it comes into your chakra creating anxiety or panic kind of energy. Or if you pick up on an emotion of somebody else and start to have you know these emotions. So you're able to navigate it because you can see it, you can feel it before it comes into your energy field and then you can maneuver. And so that's one way. Secondly, what they're saying is the stronger you are in this pure, peaceful light frequency and vibration, um, they're saying, Throw in a flavor, <laughs> infuse it with love, infuse it with compassion or confidence and joy, whatever you're feeling like sharing with the world. And that vibration is emanating off of you. So whoever you think about or whoever you physically go around, whatever location or space. And again, this is quantum. So it can be you in your home, in the office, in this location, but you think of somebody or a place far away, they're going to feel that energy. And it will give an opportunity to hold space or to stabilize their system if they're going through anything that's a struggle. And then it also gives an opportunity to spark an activation. Like remember like, oh, hey, you forgot. Like you are beautiful. You are confident. You, there is peace here for you. And it will help to entrain their body so that it begins resonating with that energy. So you have the ability to first get really comfortable with who you are and start pulling more of your own light in. And you might be surprised because we have that amnesia, we forget a lot about who we are. And then the more that we start embodying our own soul frequency, we acquire these gifts and these skills, the strength and wisdom from other lifetime experiences. And you can just find your whole reality shift for the better. So that will help you in your own self and then you have that ability to help others. So any distractions that come your way, you're gonna immediately know if that's a yes or a no for you. Do you wanna get involved? Do you even wanna entertain this conversation or opportunity or no? And you're gonna know really, really quick, clairsentiently will be like, how do you feel? The heart chakra is the clairsentient chakra also the sacral chakra and clairsentience is that knowing, that intuition that just, I just have a knowing and you don't have to explain it at all. Just know, I have a feeling, I have a knowing. And so you're gonna notice that your intuition enhances also. And then any, I'm hearing nefarious energies, dissonant frequencies, energy that isn't supportive or healthy, it's gonna get louder. So you'll start to hear it like nails on a chalkboard, kind of that resonation. You're gonna be like, whoa, completely, your whole body will pull back from it. So that's another way of governing your reality because your system will talk to you and then you can take the actions in physical and in spirit to say, okay, I'm gonna separate from this conversation or this environment or relationship, or if it's energy, you can also say, okay, you can leave. Like, you know, if it's a spirit that comes around or something. So it just depends. <laughs> that doesn't happen for everybody, but if you're if you're a medium or a psychic, you'll you sometimes like, <laughs> like I'll feel spirits come around. I'm like, uh, yeah, you're not supposed to be here. So, but it's gonna help you to navigate things in that way. So gosh, that was a great question because so much information came through and I really hope, <laughs> I really, really hope that that helped you and everybody else, especially if anybody pops into the replay later that they can find 
you know, because that is a way of taking accountability and sovereignty of your own frequency and saying what do you want in your life and what you don't. And before we can really know that, we need to understand the contrast and the difference. So, oh my gosh, yay, <laughs> so nice. Okay, so I am seeing that I've been on, I think over an hour probably, maybe a little bit. So I'm probably gonna just take a couple more questions. But if you wanna join me next time, um, yeah, if you wanna join me next time, then just put the notifications for lives. If you just wanna hear the lives, it's the little bell on Raise the Vibe Tribe. And then also I've actually been doing quite a bit of lives at my personal page, which is Amy Sikarski. So let me put that here in the comments. And for the replay, um, y'all can listen, or I'm sorry, you can all look below. So did I save it? I don't know if it's gonna pin, but anyways, that's my handle. It's also in the link in my bio, um, along with the podcast. Yeah, so if you're interested in, um, gosh, I'm like on episode 59 and there's so much information and I'm also, oh, this is what I wanted. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot. I knew there was something I wanted to share. So I'm doing another series on the podcast where I bring guests on and I do an energy therapy session. So if you're interested in that, you can email me at spirit and soul healing podcast at gmail.com. And um, so I'm taking applications right now. And so it's exciting. There's a whole series from the spring that you can check back on. And if you want to watch it on YouTube, it's on there as well. So, all right, got that in. <laughs> I was like, there was something I wanted to share with everybody because I have these really cool offerings coming, but I forgot about that one. So yeah, okay, so let's see. Um, Oh, okay. Oh, so awesome. Okay, Barbara Fretz. Hi, Amy. I'm doing my first yoga retreat. What do you see? Oh, I love this. Like, I hear angels. <laughs> like, oh, so happy. Um, It's going to go really good, and you're going to learn a lot of things, like the minute little details of what you want to improve on next time. Um, but it's all going to be amazing. It just might be that you want to add a little bit of your extra touch in a different way next time. And... um this looks fun. It feels like everybody is supposed to be there that goes, but there's going to be probably one person that struggles a little bit. So you might want to talk to your attendees before they arrive or at the beginning and just talk about challenges and emotions that can come up, unhealed trauma and, and blocks and stuff and how to work through that. And number one, just be open, like have them just come to you if they need anything and if they're really struggling to come to uh, you or another facilitator and having done retreats myself, like I know there's so many details. So number one, it's about the heart space and you again, do what you can do. You cultivate a space of support and healing love. And um, if you're teaching, you know, you have all of that available, like the materials that you might be sharing. You have everything prepped ahead of time so you can show up and let, let the energy um, share with you the flow of the day, because you'll be maybe mm, energetically moving through things a little bit different than what you thought, how you would have it be on paper. Um, but it looks really good. Congrats, I'm excited for you. There's so many of us that are wanting to like to do more in person, so this is great. Yay, I guess I just assumed it was in person. It could be online too, but community, so. Yeah, congrats. I'm excited. It's going to it's gonna be really good. Yes, just prepare ahead of time as much as you can is what I'm getting. So, okay, one more. All right, let's see. Uh -huh, let's see. Okay, Caribbean Stallion. I'm in my 20s and things are not working out the way I thought that they would. Okay, any thoughts? All right, yeah, okay. Let's tune in for you. Oh yeah, you have so much more of life I'm getting. So I'm seeing chapters that are books by the decade, right? So you've gone through one and you're in, um, well, I'm like asking them, under 10, does that count? <laughs> so you're actually, it feels like you're in stage two. So they kind of lumped all of your youth into one chapter or one book and so you're in the second one and this is just venturing out you're in a stage of life 
this life is like no other life. So although we have very similar experiences in development and finding who we are and maturing, our whole world full of technology right now with a lot of travel and intercontinental connections is so different. So enjoy it. Um, they're saying you don't have to have the answers. You don't have to have everything figured out right now. The one thing for you that I'm getting is the moral and integrity. Like your integrity, how do you feel with yourself? Do you feel good about yourself? Do you feel at peace and do you feel aligned? And if there's anything that you don't feel good about, like maybe you misstepped and so apologize, make it right, send a lot of light to the energy, um, forgive yourself and forgive others and you can reset your whole life, your whole reality with one thought, with one intention in a day, in a week, in a month. Just get it going if there's something you don't really enjoy. Um, Feel what is not pleasant, like tune into that and write it down and find the ways that you can reset that. Um, but I also see that you've acquired so many experiences and a lot of wisdom and this information is going to help you in the years and the chapters to come and also you're super conscious and really connected. So um, you've got a lot of support. You have a whole team of guides and angels and you can feel that love and support around but also, I'm getting that sound therapy can help you to clear off cords. Others, their energy is kind of connected onto you. So it's time to re reset relationships. If you keep the same relationships, okay. But realign or reset the dynamics within it. So people that maybe aren't supportive of you or holding you down or pulling you into the past, disconnect, like kind of let go. And if others are maturing and growing and looking for the future and positive inspiration, like great friends, you know, keep it around, keep that relationship around. But yeah, you actually have a lot. There's a lot coming for you in a really positive way. So you can journal all of your experiences out and, you know, like when you're in your forties, a couple decades from now, you're going to look back and really appreciate all the growth that you've gone through and your guides are saying, Hey, you've done it before other lifetimes. You've done it before. So you can always go into meditation and talk to your higher self for guidance. So, Oh my gosh. Thanks everybody. It was so nice to connect tonight. I'll have the replay available. I think it'll save. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, um, I'll put some of the information below in captions. So if you're looking for to be a guest on the podcast, just email me or send me a direct message. And um, I do personal sessions. I do hypnosis, mostly focusing on past lives. And then I also do past life readings, which I'm just now going to put on my website because this, before I didn't, I just put energy healing and readings. But since the start of the year, the energy has been so supportive of clearing and healing past life stuff. So I'm directly going to highlight that. But I do, um, and I do classes. So healings, retreats, which I have a retreat coming up May through the 4th. And I have a lot of free meditations and a lot of like just free information on the podcast. So, all right. Hope you guys have a beautiful night and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Oh, and thank you everybody for the badges. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>